Hi everyone, it's Caroline. Thank you for coming by, welcome. It is time to, <laughs> to make another tag. The circles, stitches, and fabric for the number four. And I already have my circle punch here. Dug out two scrap pieces of fabric and I didn't even think about what they were. I just grabbed them from my little um, scrap jar. And then I have these I got from my, our vacation stay in one of the hotels. They had these little, you know, coasters underneath the cups and we didn't use them. I was thinking that I would do a circle tag, just put a, an eyelid at the top. And, and I'm also, I've also got my glue gun out. I had to repair something and I thought, wow, I've been talking about using my glue gun. I'm going to try and I'll see if this works. So let's do this. I'm going to, I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. And it's round, so it'll be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> but what I could do, oh, and this is uh, stitches. So stitches, oh, I think I know what I want to do with this right now. I'm going to tear going to tear these I could slow stitch this that would be fun and how am I going to do that well let's see I could just make some holes. Let's do that. Then it'll be a little bit easier. Well, I went ahead and started stitching this. I did the first two stitches um, with the size of the holes that I pre-made. And then I went back and I made my own hole in between because I'm just realizing that they're too far apart to hold the fabric in place properly. And it's also easier for me to do just a smaller stitch. And I'm doing a back stitch here, you can see. I mean, this is not a, a tutorial on how to do stitching, but I'm sure most of you know how to do stitching. And the holes are not gonna line up, but that's fine. It's slow stitching, it's supposed to be organic not manufactured oh and i like that a little bit of a thread there I had just enough of this scrap fabric and I actually like this side and I know I like the rough side better but I'll have both sides because one side will be for journaling and one side this side just looks too neat and too I don't know what I like this side better it just looks um, grungier my ink brown ink Cutting up this fabric into small pieces, I think I'll do a fabric collage. And now I have to decide which side I'm going to. I think I'm going to keep this as my my right side. I'm just happier with this side. And then I just did the distressing on here and I'm probably going to be covering it up. And I actually have some book page here off to the side that, let's just do some collage work here. Little, little pieces. 
And this would have been better off to do it before I did all this stitching. I can put this underneath. And I'm going to try and use my, my glue gun. Let's see how well this works. I'm probably going to burn my fingers. Extremely hot. And I've got a lot of glue on there. I don't know if I'm going to like that. I don't know. Pull that up away. Let's use the spatula. This might work. This might work all right. We'll see. Put some fabric down. Let's keep the fabric going. Maybe I'll put the glue down here. I know a lot of creators use their hot glue gun. And maybe it's something you have to um, get into a rhythm with. I have this scrap piece of my rusty paper. That would be that would be good there. It is fun doing this though. I don't know what it's going to look like and maybe that's even the fun. Just the unknown. I want to use those threads to hide that smooth edge and then I have this part here. I mean it looks, what does it look like? It looks like a jar. It looks like the top for a jar. <laughs> okay, made the hole. Watch it. What am I going to use here? You know, I might use the thread. This is good thread too. This is what I used for to make my jeans. I'm going to use this. Like that. That'll be really strong. Okay, well, I am adding some paper to the back because I did some stitching on my machine. And I just wanted to share with you, I used the the rounded edge of, well, this just happens to be my bone folder, but I want to tear the edge off and I find that it's just easier to sort of go with the curved edge. I just found I've been doing it like this for many years and uh, it works out pretty nice. Well, that's just a little thing I thought I would share and I have some glue I'm using my glue gun actually this big glue gun reminds me of Harmony um, she uses a glue gun to do a lot of her collaging and uh, she has, she just does a great job with her glue gun. can't tell you how fun this was to, to make. Imagination, which is also what I'm thankful for. It just um, came across to me that, I mean, it took some imagination to make this. I had no idea. Collaged with scraps and some rusty paper, rusty paper that I stamped on, and I did a little bit of machine, mach, machine sewing. <laughs> did some ruffles and did some slow stitching. Did an eyelet. I also 
um, wanted to cover up the messy stitching on the back, so I put, took out the little scrap piece of lined paper that I had put some dots, found my little bird in my ephemera album, and I did my journaling. And I am so thankful for imagination. I just grabbed my washi tape ring here, my embroidery hoop with my washies, uh, making the, oh, which tag is this going to be? This is going to be number five. It's embossed yellow and washi. So what I have for embossed is I, I just received this from Happy Mail and in Happy Mail from Cree and from Kristen. And I am going to use this as my tag because I've already got the base. It's beautiful on both sides, as you can see. The other thing I have, and this is funny, I was looking in my little basket, and this was in it. This is a um, this is a like a sleeve that had a decal on it in it, and I kept it because I thought I'm going to use it one of these days for something. Right. I thought well, I wonder if this fits, and sure enough, this fits in here. So this is going to be my tag holder. I do like the fact that you can see how vintage it is and um, I'm, I'm just looking at the back here to see if it has a date but it doesn't and it is Canadian it's from Canada so I think I'm going to leave it like this it has a bit of a tear here so I might embellish it with something on the corner yellow ribbon in there so I will use some of this yellow rib ribbon I'm going to put this aside for now I'm going to use the yellow ribbon. I'm going to uh, first round the corners because I like my tags with rounded corners most of, most of the time. Well, today it's Friday's free flow. I can't believe it's Friday. <laughs> it just seems like it was Friday yesterday. So I'm going to keep these little tidbits for my my newspaper spinish journal. I'm going to put that in there. That's almost finished. Side, I think this will be my journaling side here, the pink, which I love. And then this here will be the, um, the decorative side. And I just have to figure out what I am going to do. I think what I'm going to do is work on the, the journaling side first. I do have, this was, some happy mail came in this letter and I did some rusty, some fun rusty um, painting on that. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to use this paper uh, to write on. Just have to see what size. I'm going to sew around here also. There we go. And I, you can see some of the writing from the other side. That's fine. I think what I'll do, I'll just try to lay it down here. I don't mind doing, I don't mind seeing that. I could even, I could even use some gesso, which I think I'll do. You know, let's just do that. And then I can, I can make it. I can get it dirty again. <laughs> I think that's what I'll do. And I'll just do more than I think I'm going to need just to get rid of some of the dark letters, text from the other side. I don't mind if some of it's there. I can lift it up. Go like that. I think that'll be good. I have to let this dry now, so I'm just gonna put this over to the side and I can work on this side over here. So what I'd like to do is put some kind of a background. Oh, and I, I'm going to take my little bag because I'll do some layers and I'm going to use something from in here. I just have to find lots of luscious, lots of goodness in here. Oh, this is nice. It's the same color though, so I don't know if I'm going to use that. I do want to contrast, and maybe because this is already uh, this is already brown tone, I'll use something on the lighter side. Let's see if I have something right here. Oh, I do. This is this would be good because it's 
got those two. I've actually got that one too. You know what? This one's already cut down to size. Might use that right there. I don't even have to bother ripping the other two. And it's got lots of fraying. Oh, I love that. Yes. A couple pieces of this. And uh, so this was just a ribbon that was around the package. So it's packaging, which is fun. Fun to use. Love using packaging. English, French English dictionary. Dictionary pages. Let's just use this. I'll cut some of that off. Tear some of that. I think I've used up all the other pieces, the random pieces. Let's see how our page is doing. I'm going to just put it over here like that. Well, it all of a sudden got really dark out. It, we're, we're spo we are supposed to have rain today. So my shadows are really bad. <laughs> So sorry about that. Doing as I got up to get my stapler, and sat back down. I love the yellow, but I think it's going to be too yellow. So I will definitely add something to this, to um, just to bring it down a bit. It's just really bright, and I think for what I, for the look I want, um, it's just too much. So. And I'm also wondering if I want to flip this this way, like that. I think I'm going to do that. Sometimes you just have to get up off your chair and take another look. And I think I'm going to be happier with that. There we are. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I do have my Fabri-Tac that I should finish it. Just right now, it's giving me all kinds of all kinds of globs. I think what I'll do is, I wonder if I should glue it down now. Yeah, I think I will. Because my glue is, it's escaping. Once I put this on, I think I'm committed here. Like that. Just catch the globs as they come out. Well, I just did the little bit of tearing around to make it fit on the card, the tag, and I'm going to glue that down now. And then I will sew around, I think. And I was thinking about what I should use for my tab. I haven't used my washi tape yet to do that too. I don't want to pull those threads. All right, let's take a look. On this side, bright, very bright. Uh, I need to do something about that. And I'm not sure what approach I'm going to take yet. Well, I do have an idea. I still have this napkin that I'm working from, the one that I got on my, on, on our flight. <laughs> so, that I used to do some rust, rust dyeing, rust painting. And this might give me enough of, enough of a, uh, a cover. Okay. I don't want it to have the I think I don't want to have the the crimped edge, although I don't think it really matters because, let me just make that a little rougher here around the edge. There we go. That might be enough, you know, and that you can still see the yellow, but it's not so, so much in my face. Just enough, a hint of yellow has some rusty stain on it. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Definitely better. Okay, this napkin's giving me more than I thought it would. So you know what I might even do with this? Ooh, 
<laughs> I might even, I'll do a little bit of the glue just to make sure it stays down. And then I can use some washi. I do like this striped right here. I might take that. I have the uh, cheetah. That would be fun too. Cheetah might be fun. But I do like the stripes, so I think I'll do the stripes. I just need little bits and pieces. I have taken out one of my little stamps. It says, cherish the ones you love. And that's what I'm thankful for, is the ones I love. I wonder if that's going to be too big now. Oh dear. Covering up, okay. I need to do... Let's try this and go very gentle just to separate it. If you're new to if you're new to the hillside to the channel I would love if you would share or like the video and also um, subscribe it's layered it's it's really luscious I did add a little extra piece of washi tape right there need to do some journaling here and uh, oh I need to do my sewing so what am I going to put at the top I'm going to make a tab oh that's great no I like that try to match it up just finishing up this tag Thanksgiving tag session now I want to put this little cluster that was tiny <laughs> on the corner this tag this little cluster I made last night when I was doing a little bit more in my newspaper journal and made a couple of clusters with the scraps of course not to waste them and I'm keeping it original because I love the vintage the vintageness, the vintage of it. <laughs> yeah, that's really fun. Today's prompt for the Thanksgiving, the November Diva Delight tag was or is embossed yellow and washi. I chose the beautiful um, embossed piece of paper that I received from Cree and cut my little corners down, rounded the edges, the corners down here. I made a cluster in for the metal. I have some yellow here in the ribbon and uh, I really like the way that looks. I also made a tab up here with the leftover paper and I sewed around and then the back of it, I made this, um, I just took my rusty paper and distressed it a bit more with some gesso so I could write on it. And I also had this little stamp word that I put on here comfort so that's my my tag for today I love it and then it just so happened that I have this vintage um, packaging 
that our decal came in. I added this little cluster on the corner just to hide the tear. There it is. And I think what I will do is, is I won't glue this to the page when it comes time. I will make some kind of a pocket for it. Well, thank you everyone for coming along today. I really appreciate it. I hope this inspired you in some way. And it is Friday's free flow. So if you happen to do something today or any day of the week, just tag me so I can see and everyone can see what you're doing. It's so fun. I appreciate it. Stay adventurous and stay cozy. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.